All right, now what we're going to do is some swing practice. So my lovely assistant, Nikki, RKC Awesomeness, is going to take us through the progression that we're going to go through. So we're going to do a plank, <clears throat> then we're going to practice the hip hinge, then we're going to work to a deadlift, then we're going to work to um, a chop and pop, and then we're going to finally finish up the swing with some practice swings. Now, work at your own pace with this. If you end up just practicing hip hinges today uh, along to the video, so be it. Um, I would like you to at least try to get to some chops and pops and work towards that would be best. Nikki's going to face this direction. She's going to get down in a plank. squeeze together, butt squeeze with all our might. Notice she makes a nice, beautiful straight line. Shoulders are pulled down. Very nicely done. And back down. Relax. Everybody get down. Let's do a plank. You ready? Go ahead and go. Up. Straight line from ear to ankle bone. Eyes should be a little bit forward. Head should not be up, but head should not be looking straight down underneath. Nice straight lines. And rest. Stand up. Now, Nikki's going to introduce a hip hinge. Okay, she's going to go feet shoulder width apart. Let's go back. Now, at the top of her hip hinge, she represents a standing plank. Okay? So, her kneecaps are pulled up, her butt is squeezed tight, her abs are nice and braced. Okay? When she starts to hip hinge, her knees are going to loosen up again and go soft. Go ahead and start. She's going to reach back. There you go. Until she feels a stretch back in her hamstrings. Notice her back is perfectly straight. Now she's going to snap up. Boom. Straight line from ear to ankle bone. Knees are straight. Butt is squeezed and very tight. Abs are braced. Let's do about five of those nice and slow. Slow on the way back. Snap. Nice and sturdy on the way up. There's two, three, four, five. Stay right there. Notice her butt squeeze. She's pushing from her heels. She's driving the floor away from her when she does this. So now we're going to set up for the deadlift. <coughs> So she's going to put the kettlebell between her arches, she's going to hip hinge down nice and slow. Now stay right there for a second Nikki. Now Nikki has very long legs so her knee bend is going to have to be a little bit more to get down into that. For some people a little bit taller, for some people a little bit shorter your knees are not going to bend. The one thing you don't want to see is a squat. Can you get down to squat position? Notice how her butt has just dropped and her knees have driven forward a little bit. Come back up. Good. Go ahead and go back down into the position again. Butt high. Feel for that stretch in the hamstrings. Back is perfectly straight. Now she's going to grip the bell very tightly and snap her hips through. Good. Standing plank. Shoulders are pulled down. Ear, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle bone, straight line. Driving with her heels. Butt is tight. Abs are tight. Go down and give me five of those. Touch and up. And again. Touch and up. And again. Touch and up. Again. Touch and up. This time we're going to set the bell down. And we snap up just the same way. Beautiful job. Now we're going to eliminate the weight and we're going to move into a chop and pop. Okay. Now Nikki's going to put her hands out in front of her like she's in the top of the swing. Her shoulders are back and down. She's making that straight line. Her abs are braced. Okay. Now She's going to, ready, one, two, three, chop in half and pop back up. Chop in half, pop back up. 
chop in half, pop back up, chop in half, pop back up. Now what I don't want to see in this is people falling forward or beautiful chop and then they go forward. So we're going to do that again. Feet shoulder width apart. Nice top position. Ready, chop, pop, chop, pop, chop, pop, chop, pop. Good. Rest for a second. Check it out. Okay. Next thing we're going to do before we get to the swing is we're going to get used to having that bell going between our legs. Like Nikki likes to say, you aim for your sexy parts and you get out of the way. My favorite quote in the world. I use it every time I teach the swing. So, instead of chopping and pushing ourselves out this way, now we're going to have our hands in front and we're going to slowly bring our thumbs towards our crotch and we're going to push our butt out of the way. So we're getting our sexy parts out of the way. And then we're going to snap right back up to here. So let's do a couple real slow. Hip pinch, eyes are forward, back is straight, snap, hip pinch, snap. Good. Now we're going to add a little speed. We're going to chop and pop again. Ready? Hands go between our legs. Chop, pop, chop, pop, chop, pop, chop, pop. Rest. Nice job. Check it out. Now the one thing I see with people with the swing is, is they try to deadlift a swing, which means that when they start to swing, their hands are going way down here. I don't want that. I want that bell to go right between our legs with our hands and our forearms near our groin. We're going to do some chops and pops. We're going to do 10 fast, okay? Okay. We're going to increase the speed each time. So ready, chop, pop, 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 rest. Wonderful. Now Nikki's going to do the swing. Now the swing is a little bit different of a setup. If you have not swung with a bell with me enough, stick with chops and pops either with your hands chopping to the outside or your hands going to the inside if you've just done an orientation. Now if you've done this for a while and you're just reviewing the swing and you want to do some practice swings, this would be the time to do it. So Nikki's going to set up. Notice feet are the same setup as she did for the hip hinge, the deadlift and the chop and pop. She's going to get in that hip hinge position. Eyes are forward, back's perfectly straight. She's going to tilt the bell towards her, and then she's going to hike the bell and go. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now notice how beautifully she set the bell down. Show that again, would you please? Yeah, just give me a, one swing to set the bell down. So she didn't stop. She didn't stop herself short at all. She let the bell come on a back swing, just like she was going to swing again, and then she just let it decelerate and set it down. Okay? I'm going to show 10 swings just so you guys see kind of what my body frame swings like compared to Nikki's. Nikki's got very mobile hips. My hips could use a little work. Okay? So I set up. Do you want to talk this one through? Nope. Set up. Bell. Hike and go. I do never stand up and then start to swing. I hike it and then go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 